This number is called The Last Text. I have this vision. We're going to put the kids in a car, even though they're really a little young to be driving. Now you're in a car. So when she turns, everybody, everybody has to lean. I'm going to use Paige as the driver. She doesn't have to do too much. Kelly will probably hit the roof, but Paige is beautiful to look at. They're on their phones and they're taking pictures of each other. That's what little kids do. And then in the music, boom, there's a car crash on each tank. They're not hearing this. If Maddie can pull this number off with her acting skills, it's going to win. It's going to win everything. Paige, for God's sakes, you haven't even danced yet. Sit up straight. I think having Nia and Chloe and Kendall dance against one another for a solo is crappy. Naturally, all the kids want it, and you have to beat your friend to get it. My thought is, and I think it's ridiculous that she happen. already has Ooh. someone picked for that solo. And yeah. I'm pretty confident Abby doesn't want Nia to do that solo. Push, two, three, four. Now grab her and pull her away from her, away. Last week, she made it crystal clear to all of us what you do this week, that's why she gave everybody a solo, is who gets what at nationals. Everybody who came in score-wise got a solo, except, except for Kendall. Kendall. Front. So right. how I see it is... She's giving Chloe another chance. Yep, she's giving it to Chloe. But that's <laughs> Kendall beat Chloe. It was Kendall's week, so give it to her then. I'm worried your three kids are going to be not focused now because they're doing the group dance right now. And they're going to be worried, oh my god, oh my god, I have to compete against my friends to get a solo. But I also wonder if that is another motivating factor to try to teach those kids you need to want it. But that's just not in Chloe's nature. Were you? Did you almost, who almost tripped over her? All right, guys, go grab a drink. Outside, and all of a sudden, the girls burst through the door, and everybody's like freaked out a little bit. And they're like, Oh, the music's really creepy. And Mackenzie gets ejected from the car, and I'm thinking, like, What the hell kind of dance is this? So, like, we're all like dying throughout the dance. Who's texting? Who's the culprit? Doing what? Just Nothing. ignore it, Paige. She's just doing it to be a mean person. All right, come on, girls. I need you to focus. This is Nationals. We came all this way and worked hard and rehearsed in crappy little studios to get to this point. Don't blow it right now. Don't be the kid that ruins the entire number. I'm confident. The girls are confident. But you never know. This is a national competition. Everybody came to win. Let's go. Please welcome to the stage, The Last Text. I'm a little afraid that something called The Last Text may be a little too bloody and gory for a national title. Dragging out this crappy looking car seat. Did that come off of Christie's front porch? I don't know. But I have to tell you that her piece was, was absolutely brilliant. There came that moment where it was silent. And in a choreographer's life or dance teacher's life, those moments are few and far between. 
Nobody knew whether to clap or cry or what to do. That was a great moment in my life. We're going to move over to the Energy Junior small group. In third place, the Story Eight Count Dance Academy. In second place goes to Troop Beverly Hills. the Nationals, we won. Abby Lee Dance Company. The Abby Lee Dance Company remains a force to be reckoned with. There are few dances in my lifetime that I have literally walked away and thought about days later. And I just wanted to keep reliving Abby's last text number because it was brilliant. I've arranged for the kids to perform on The View. And we're going to do our award-winning number from the national finals, The Last Text. And Asia, you will be doing The Last Text. Mackenzie's been in the dance since the get-go. I mean, and she's fine. You know, she hasn't been dancing. And I would like her to be in it. Which, that's just it. She hasn't been dancing. Yeah, but. I would like her to be in it. She's part of this team, and she's been here since she's three years old. I think you should give her a chance. Melissa, I need you to let me work. Understand? I think Mackenzie should be dancing on The View for sure. She's been a part of this team since the beginning, and Asia just came. Come on, let's move over here. I want this to be on your mind first but you know it. So we're just gonna review it, gonna yell out some corrections, this is what we're gonna do. Mackenzie was originally in the last text, but now I have Asia. I really don't know what's going on with Mackenzie's foot. Melissa is the one that said Mackenzie was hurt. Mackenzie's crying, Mackenzie's in pain. We went to a doctor, blah, 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 blah. And now we're here in New York City and the kids have a chance to be on The View. Suddenly her foot's fine and Melissa's backpedaling again. Somebody has to hold Melissa accountable for her words, and it's going to be me. You don't want to hit your grunge tape behind Kendall. Really straighten those knees on that backhand spring. There wasn't enough energy in that arm. It's like, you can't put your hand on the floor, Paige. Melissa, who do you, what do you think is going to go on with the last text? Do you think that Asia's doing it, or do you think she's going to put Kenzie in it? I would assume that Asia's in it. I don't know. I think at this point, I think it's Asia. I'm gonna talk to Abby about it. You did, or you? I'm going to, absolutely. I'm not gonna let my, my daughter just be here and not do anything. It's not right. That little girl has been dragged around for the last three weeks, ready to dance, and she's not allowed. I'm totally backing Melissa. Mackenzie feels better. Mackenzie was in the dance. It's Mackenzie's spot. It's a no-brainer. Asia's practicing really hard, so oh, why I can't they both be in the group? Well, I don't know. You have to ask Abby. That's Abby's call. It's not my call. It's not Asia's call. So. Okay. So you understand this was our national winning number. Why Mackenzie should be in it, why not Asia. We have her add Kenzie to the group. Mackenzie has put her time in. But I'm not going to sit there and, and go. Asia, go tell Abby no. Whoever Abby picks, I'm fine with. But I do think that if Mackenzie is really hurt, that she shouldn't just be automatically okay because we're going on the view. Mackenzie, come here. I don't understand why your mom is letting Asia walk in and take over. She's had all this and all that, and everyone's loving her, and they're going to forget about you. And your mom's just sitting out there letting this woman come from California and take over everything. Try to be overstretching your splits. Do something while you're in here. Come here. So what did Miss Abby say to you? She said, why are you letting Christy and Asia come into here and take my spot? 
but you're, what did you say? I'm an eight-year-old kid. What am I supposed to do? She wants you to, to go do something about it. Okay. Not me. She wants you. Okay, but what am I supposed to do about it, Kenzie? I'm going to talk to Miss Abby about it, because it's ridiculous. You're a team member. You're fine. You need to be in this dance. I have to convince Abby to let Mackenzie dance. I'm not allowing this new Christy to come in and just take over. What do I have to do to get Mackenzie to dance again? I mean, I really think that she needs to go on The View. I just feel like you're replacing Mackenzie, and you don't want her any on, in the group anymore. And she really wants to dance so bad. And I've been very dedicated to you. I would do anything you ask This isn't about you. She just danced like a little kid. She's like, she's, she's just eight. doing her, I gave her one older routine this season and mm -hmm. she forgot it and stood on stage. But you, well, I think she draws eyes. I think she's too short. She's, she's, a, she's a foot shorter. I know, but she wants it. Her mother wants it. Mackenzie wants it too. I really I, have to, this, this is, is a, a song. This is about Mackenzie. I want her to dance and she wants well, to dance out. Asia, come on. I'm definitely frustrated because Abby's like, nope, Asia's here, she's gonna dance. Abby has always told me that she wants my kids to stay as cute as long as they can. I don't want my daughter to be sassy on stage at age eight. Not at all. What? What happened? Did she have the courage to say something? I said to Abby, I said, Mackenzie wants to dance. She wants to dance. She says, well, you know, Mackenzie's too short. I said, Asia's the same size as Mackenzie. So what was the outcome of the conversation? She said, Asia wants it more than Mackenzie. I'm like, uh, OK. She said, you want it more for Asia. What, what am I here every freaking day? Of OK, care? but Melissa, now you're getting mad because she's saying that about Asia. But whenever she says to me, Maddie wants it more than your kids, you two look at me and say, I'm jealous. But so about... like, how do you like it? It's hard for me that a, a stranger comes in. Yeah, and... it's hard for us, too. That's the same thing. But you have to also respect what they're feeling every week. It's hard to see my eight-year-old not dance. I'm fully on Christy and Kelly's side. Well, of course you are, because she won Asia in the No, number. it has nothing to do about that. If it was me, I'd put Asia and Kenzie head to head, toe to toe. So there's nothing for me to prove. It's the morning of The View, and I was a little bit nervous before I got here. But now that I'm here at the studio, I just can't wait to get out there. OK, is that good, girls? Five, six, seven, and Asia. Do you see where you are? Are you in line with that first pole? Yes. You came too far downstage. You know what? Asia, come out of there. Um, you go in right now so she can see what you do. I am swapping Asia and Mackenzie out, in and out, in and out because I want to see who's going to actually perform. All right, Mackenzie, what happened? I give you the opportunity to practice it. I want to use Asia. And now you, you do a cartwheel, you stop, then you move forward and do a back handspring. What was going on? I thought I was going to fall. Thought you were going to fall off the stage. I really want Mackenzie to do it, because she was part of the original award-winning number. But Melissa has to learn that she doesn't get her cake and eat it, too. And Asia is just raring to go. Bigger, page when it gets hit, when the car ha hits the impact, you need to levitate out of that car. Like if you, if the seatbelt would be, would be holding you in, you need to boom. It's it's bigger. Like get your butt up out of the seat almost. Go, Paige, you're doing this. It, the wheel's there. Don't don't. Bigger, sharper. I'm embarrassed as a teacher. I'm sitting over here, and it's like I'm humiliated. I mean, come on. This is the view. All right, let's go, guys. Asia's fine, but she did practice it. But you keep going back and forth with Abby about getting Kenzie in the dance. And yeah, I think, should. I'm huh? sticking up for my kid. Right, but I'm sticking up for mine, too. Because That's fine. she's mature good. enough to understand, but also it keeps being an issue in, in her face. And then you have Jill chiming in and everyone chiming in. That is what's not fair. I have Melissa here crying about McKinsey going on. Asia is fine with whatever, but let's just get over with and let's just say who's going on stage so I don't have the peanut gallery here in the corner talking madness on Asia. Didn't you already talk to Abby? At the you, studio. Because you were really upset, and now you're like kind of. I'm, dee, 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 dee. Like, I'm still upset. No, you're I'm not, not going to do it in front. My kids are here, Christy, and we're on the view. 
So I we're know. happy to be on The View. Okay, if Mackenzie's not in it, Mackenzie's not in it. Okay. No, but I think that you I know. I want Mackenzie. I do but not I think know. You know. No, I don't. I think you do know, Melissa. I don't know. But why don't you ever just sit, like? Because I don't know that okay. if Mackenzie's in it or not. Okay. I want her in it. She's been on this team for years. No, nobody's she's saying been here that. For three, well, call, she's what I'm calling you out on I is don't the fact know. that you always do stuff behind everybody's no, back. Oh, oh. You do. Okay. You do. She doesn't know, and neither do I. Okay. That's well, what you call. Well, I just just wish that you would stop going. Okay. Abby is Why? Gonna... Because she's my but daughter. You know I then have you know to fight for my you... daughter. It's like this whole big charade about this foot. All I keep hearing is about this foot, and I'm like, okay. I'm not so bringing now it up. On... The foot's done. Let Abby pick and be done with it. Let it die. Unfortunately, Melissa dug herself a hole. Melissa said from the very beginning that Mackenzie was injured, and how Melissa initially framed it sounded like we didn't know when Mackenzie was going to be well enough to dance again. It was like an indefinite injury. I think the point is, is that Melissa is the one who made such a big deal about the foot and she couldn't do it if it was competing against Asia in a competition. Now that it's for The View, all of a sudden Mackenzie's miraculously back no. all oh, the time. Please, that you're the give me a f break. I wanted Mackenzie to dance last week, Christy. Okay. Melissa, it's an overuse injury, Christy. Get okay. it. It's not a broken I bone. get it, but you're the one who made it into a huge thing. Oh, I mean, what else am I supposed to do? I mean, I want I my daughter to dance, daughter and I'm dances, sorry. Not. But she's, you know, she's on the team. I want her to dance. I want Mackenzie to dance. She's ready to dance. When we're in our hotel room, all she does is dance and practice and stretch. She is ready. Careful, Careful Melissa, that's you're that's acting like a, a jealous mom. No, that's a clue. Yeah. no, I'm just what saying. Careful, she does it. She likes it. Like it's it happening to someone else. Because yeah. I'm trying to explain, but you don't let me talk. Yeah. I'm telling well, you, you need to be she clearer loves, because I'm talking. She talks like, so I can understand you. I'm not talking. I want to be like that when I grow up. She looks great. Who's going to be in the dance? I'm not sure yet if Asia or Mackenzie are doing the dance. Mackenzie already got to do it, and she's been hurt. And it's, you know, I'm kind of getting that she was hurt because she didn't want to go up against Asia. So I need to go. I need to get into hair and makeup. That's show business, ladies. Have them ready. OK. okay. okay. There they are, the Hello, stars ladies. of the day. Abby said the next time she comes in here, she wants you dressed Kent. and ready to be nice and warmed up. For the most part, Melissa's very guarded and not letting you see how upset she is that Asia is basically taking over Mackenzie's role. I mean, I think there's a perception that <gasps> Mackenzie's space or her place on the team is a little threatened by Asia. I'm saying, oh, don't, don't do that again, Kenz. No more doing that, okay? Just leave it. This is life. It's not always fair, right? So whatever she decides, we're gonna go with it. If you're not in the dance, you, I know you're mature enough to understand. You know, most likely you're not gonna be in the dance, okay? So don't get upset. No pouting, no crying, okay? That's how it is, right? Okay, so you just watch and be happy and hope the group does really, does really well if you're in it. It is what it is. This is my decision. You are going to do the number. You are coming out with me at the end. Understand? Yes. The next time you're hurt, I go to the doctor with you. Understood? Yes. Because I think your mother is lying. Let's go. I put Mackenzie in the last text because three different times I told Asia where she needed to fall. She kept doing it wrong. Wrong, get you tossed out. Here to perform the last text, please welcome the dance troupe from the Abby Lee Dance Company. Woo. When Mackenzie pops up from behind the seat in the last text, all is well in Melissa's little world. Put her foot, you see her foot up? Uh -huh. I never noticed I never her doing noticed that before. before. Personally, I knew this was gonna happen, but Abby's gonna go ahead and take loyalty over talent. That's fine. I'm not surprised that Mackenzie ended up doing this dance at all. I think that Abby knew all week of who she was gonna have do this dance. As soon as I did my 
my cartwheel over the seat, I was like, I'm back. 